Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My boy Cal here. Um, so we are betrayed earlier uh, today as I'm recording this in the NFL about two days ago as you'll be seeing this. Um, and the Jets have traded their starting quarterback Sam Darnold to the Carolina Panthers in exchange for a sixth round pick this year and a second round pick and a fourth round pick next year. Um, so quite a bit to unpack here before we get into it. Please like and subscribe. Um, follow me on Twitter um, at MudBloodCow. Um, let's get into it. So the uh, the New York Jets um, just brought in Robert Sula, um, who has traded Sam Darnold to the Carolina Panthers. The Jets have. Um, we're going to start with this move from the Jets' point of view. Um, so the Jets have had Sam Darnold, um, but he hasn't been exactly what I think they thought he'd be. He hasn't looked elite. He showed some flashes of greatness, but, um, you'd expect more out of a, a guy who's just wrapped up his third year in the league. Um, so he's going to be, uh, going elsewhere, understandably, um, and I think this pretty much assures that they're going to be taking either one of they're going to be taking a quarterback with their second overall pick in the draft, um, which bothers me because I literally recorded a mock draft video like uh, 30 minutes before this trade broke, uh, so now I have to record another one because I <clears throat> I didn't have one taking a quarterback. But um, what this means, I mean, they're clearly rebuilding. Building, uh, getting a second round pick and a fourth round pick for Darnold um, and a sixth this year, I guess, um, is really good value. Um, and I think they definitely won this trade, at least from them, for their point of view. Um, now, moving on to the Carolina Panthers. Um, this is not one of the top teams I expected to trade for Darnold. Um, I expect them to probably end up in Pittsburgh or maybe in San Francisco. Um, Carolina has been listed as a possible suitor for Deshaun Watson, but with uh, sexual assault allegations, I think it's harder than ever to trade for him, um, especially if the Texans aren't even answering calls. I think this definitely just closes the door on any sort of Deshaun Watson trade. Um and so, so now the Panthers have uh, two starting caliber-ish quarterbacks in Teddy Bridgewater and Sam Darnold. Um, the Panthers are a good football team, have potential to probably go around 9-7, maybe sneak into the playoffs, but it seems unlikely. Um, they're in a tough division, but it has gotten weaker. Um, the Buccaneers aren't going to get better. Um, they're either going to stay the same or they're going to get worse. Um, I stand by that. That's kind of all that can happen when you have a 45-year-old quarterback and don't make any changes in the offseason. Um, they're still a fantastic football team, but I'll say that. And the Saints lost their starting quarterback, um, so they're definitely getting worse, and the Falcons are the Falcons. So that uh, leaves some maybe some open air uh, for a Matt Rule team and the Panthers to maybe try and sneak in. Uh, rumor is that David Tepper has been trying to get a um, an elite starting quarterback for a long time. I think it's safe to say that at least as of right now, Sam Darnold is far from elite. Uh, but Matt Rule could, you know, maybe maybe turn him into a bit of something. Um, the um, he's going to start between Treddy Bridgewater and Sam Darnold. Um, I think it's up to debate. I think I would lean Teddy Bridgewater, but really anything can happen. I think it'll be a fun story. Um, I think we're going to have a lot of quarterback battles, um, oh, definitely a lot more than we usually have um, in training camp this year, so that'll be a, a fun story to follow. Um, and will hopefully give me something to make a video on in the dull months of August um, when very little is... Um, perspiring in the sports world. Um, for Sam Darnold, uh, this is a great move for him. Uh, he gets into a spot where he can compete for the starting 
roll and um, maybe start to, it's just a fresh start. And that's definitely what he needed. Um, he wasn't good with the Jets. And I don't want to say that all you can go is, the only direction you can go now is up. Because uh, that's not true. It can definitely get a lot worse for Sam Darnold. Um, I think that's true for a guy like Josh Rosen. Um, who, just a poor guy, man. Um, but for Sam Darnold, um, I think he still got potential to be a starting quarterback in this league, and this is going to be a big step in proving that he can be. Um, and the Panthers have weapons, after all. Um, they have some pretty. I know they lost um, DJ Moore um, in the off season, but they do have Curtis Samuel. Um, you know, this is a team that I think um, has some potential, um, especially with how good their defense is. If they can just get it right on offense, uh, this team can be maybe a very low seed or very high seed, maybe it's seven seed possibly in a weak year. Um, but yeah, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to have two videos tomorrow. I know I said that yesterday, but it's actually happening. I didn't. I hadn't decided I was going to make a video about the trade yet. Um, and then maybe some mock draft videos later this week. So yeah, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.